Evolution of Gymnastics Gymnastics is a sport that includes physical exercises requiring balance, strength, speed, flexibility, agility, coordination, and endurance. It is a fun activity that is the foundation for all sports and physical activity. Gymnastics provide a sound foundation in movement for boys and girls of all ages. These allow everyone to develop their whole body which is useful in all other sports and activities. Before we'll proceed to the evolution of gymnastics, I will first share to you the brief history of the origins of gymnastics. Gymnastics started as ancient civilization doing strands and acrobatic exercises. The word gymnastics came from the Greek words gymnos and gymnaso, meaning roughly to train to exercise naked. Johann Christoph Friedrich Gottsmann, a German teacher and educator, is considered the great father of gymnastics. In 1793, he published a textbook which was later translated to English as Gymnastics for Youth or a practical guide to healthful and amusing exercises for the use of schools. A fellow German, Friedrich Ludwig John, is known as the father of gymnastics. He was a member of the Prussian Army in the early 1800s. After a battle in which the Prussian army was defeated, he came up with the idea of improving morale by developing physical and mental strength through gymnastics. He opened the first torn plots or open-air gymnasium in 1811. Parallel bars, rings, and high bar were practiced at this gym. Most of the early training was focused on physical health and fitness. Gymnastics emerges in ancient Greece during 500 BC. Plato, Aristotle, and Homer all describes its beneficial qualities. 1793, Johann Christoph Friedrich Gatzmatz, considered to be the great grandfather of gymnastics, published the first gymnastics textbooks. The first gymnasium was often in 1811 by Friedrich Ludwig Jan, the father of gymnastics. While in 1881, the Bureau of European Gymnastic Federation, which would later become the International Federation, was formed. In 1846, it is one of the four sports alongside swimming, athletics, and fencing to appear in every games. On the other hand, the first Summer Olympic was held in Athens during 1846 and gymnastics events were a part of the competition. And in 1908, competition in London includes an individual all-around and a team competition. In 1924, individual apparatus medals are contested in Paris. Rope climbing also features but is dropped in 1932. Whereas in 1928, women were allowed to compete artistic gymnastics at the 1928 Summer Olympics held in Amsterdam. In 1960, women gymnastics from the Soviet Union dominate in room, capturing 14 of the 15 individual medals. However, in 1963, United States Gymnastics Federation, now known as USA Gymnastics, was formed. In 1972, Olga Korbit's charismatic performance in Munich helped raise the sports profile around the world. While in 1976, a 14-year-old Nadja Comenzi lands the first perfect 10 in an Olympic gymnastics event on her way to the three golds in Montreal. And in 1980, the Soviet Union's Alexander Dichatin dominates in Moscow collecting eight medals. Rhythmic gymnastic was added to the Olympics in the year 1984. Also, Mary Lou Ritton became the first American woman to win the Olympic all-around title. While in the year 1996, the Magnificent Seven, the 1996 U.S. Olympic women's gymnastic team, win the U.S. first gold medal in the women's team competition. The seven members were Shannon Miller, Dominic Machano, Dominic Dawes, Gary Strug, Ami Shaw, Amanda Burden, and J.C. Phelps. Federation International D Gymnastic raised the age requirement for gymnasts to compete at senior level gymnastics event from 15 to 16 years old in the year 1997. In the year 1999, trampoline and tumbling joined USA Gymnastic. However, in the year 2000, trampoline makes its first appearance with men's and women's companies. 
competition. Due to the safety concerns, the vault table replaced the vault horse in the gymnastic competition in the year 2001. However, in 2002, United States Sports Acrobatics merged with USA Gymnastics, making Acro the fifth gymnastics discipline. In the year 2004, Carly Patterson becomes the first American woman to win the Olympic all-around title in a non-boycotted Olympics, wherein, in 2006, Federation International Gymnastics introduced a new scoring system for women's artistic gymnastics. Now, the maximum score is no longer a 10. The new scoring system has two separate scores added together, a difficulty score and an execution score. This scoring system is used at the elite level in the U.S. and in international competitions. Addition in the 2012, where the first five won the U.S. second ever gold medal in the women's team competition. The five members of the team were Gabby Douglas, Michaela Maroney, Ali Raisman, Kyla Roos and Jordan Weber, Gabby Douglas became the first African-American in Olympic history to win the individual all-around title as well as the first American to win both the individual all-around and team gold in the same Olympics. Whereby, in the year 2013, the gymnastic levels changed from six compulsory levels and four optional levels to five compulsory levels and five optional levels. Also, in 2013, the EXCEL program becomes a national program. The EXCEL program is a great addition to the traditional Junior Olympic program due to its affordable competition experience and ability to retain athletes. Also, in the year 2016, the final five win the gold medal in the women's team competition to defend their title and Simone Billis wins the all-around and was the only American to qualify for all four events finals. Then in the year 2019, Simone Billis makes history again as she wins the World Championships in Germany and becomes the first female gymnast to win 21 medals in total. Bellis also performs a triple-double on floor exercise and a double-double tack dismount and beam, becoming the first gymnast to compete in Lando's skills. Throughout the years, in year 2020, the International Olympic Committee makes the decision to postpone the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in response to the coronavirus pandemic that affected the entire world. As you can see, from this history and evolution of gymnastics, the sports of gymnastics has been constantly evolving over time because of the reason that it can provide opportunities for physical development, character development, and education that can find true and engaging and involving in gymnastics.